Feasibility of the 29th week in Ordinary Time. Our Mass Presider for today is Reverend Father Ronald Ray Espartinis, SVD, Vice Rector of the Shrine. Our celebration will now begin. Please rise. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Friends, welcome into this Holy Mass celebration. Those in the online right now tuning in, we are here in Manila, Philippines. Ang pangalan ng simbahan na ito ay Daisisan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word inside Christ the King Mission Seminary. The reading today proclaims that the Lord is our strength and courage. Thus, in this Holy Mass, we ask the good Lord to fill our heart and soul with His strength and courage, for He is our Savior. We bring also in this Holy Altar our holy intentions, intentions for healing, for deliverance, and for guidance and direction. And so for us to worthily offer ourselves in this holy celebration, let us first recall our sins, and ask God for His pardon and mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father who intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you have heard of the stewardship of God's grace that was given to me for your benefit. That, namely, the mystery was made known to me by revelation, as I have written briefly earlier. When you read this, you can understand my insight into the mystery of Christ, which was not made known to human beings in other generations as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit that the Gentiles are co-heirs, members of the same body, and co-partners the promise in Christ Jesus through the gospel. 
Of this, I became a minister by the gift of God's grace that was granted me in accord with the exercise of His power. To me, the very least of all the holy ones, this grace was given to preach to the Gentiles the inscrutable riches of Christ and to bring to light for all what is the plan of the mystery hidden from ages past in God who created all things, so that the manifold wisdom of God might now be made known through the church, through the principalities and authorities in the heavens. This was according to the eternal purpose that he accomplished in Christ Jesus our Lord, in whom we have boldness of speech and confidence of access through faith in Him. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. God indeed is my Savior. I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and He has been my Savior. With joy, you will draw water at the fountain of salvation. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. Give thanks to the Lord, acclaim His name. Among the nations, make known His deeds. Proclaim how exalted is His name. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. Sing praise to the Lord for His glorious achievement. Let this be known throughout all the earth. Shout with exultation, O city of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. Please rise to honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to, to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Be sure of this. If the, mas <clears throat> if the master of the house had known the hour when the thief was coming, he would not have let his house be broken into. You also must be prepared, for at an hour you do not expect the Son of Man will come. Then Peter said, The Lord, is this parable meant for us or for everyone? And the Lord said, Who then is the faithful and prudent steward, whom the Master will put in charge of his servants, to distribute the food allowance at the proper time. Blessed is that servant whom his master on arrival finds doing so. Truly I say to you, he will put him in charge of all his property. But if that servant says to himself, my master is delayed in coming and begins to beat the man servant and the maid servant to eat and drink and get drunk, then that servant's master will come on an unexpected day and at an unknown hour and will punish the servant severely and assign him a place with the unfaithful. 
that servant who knew his master's will but did not make preparations nor act in accord with his will shall be beaten severely. And the servant who was ignorant of his master's will but acted in a way deserving of severe beating shall be beaten only lightly. Much will be required of the person entrusted with much and still more will he demanded of the person entrusted with more. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hello, everyone. I hope you are doing fine. Please allow me to start our reflection and focus on uh, Psalm. I hope you remember the first verse na binasa. Sabi doon, God indeed is my Savior. I am confident and unafraid. Ako'y nagtitiwala sa Kanya at ako'y hindi natatakot. My strength and my courage is the Lord. Friends, I hope after this Mass, you write this down, these verses, on a sheet of paper and put kung saan malap, madali mahanap sa bahay ninyo para just in case someday you find yourself feeling afraid or you felt alone, you felt giving up as if you are exploding. Yan ang karniwang, if I will ask some children, how do you describe your situation right now? Father, I feel like exploding or sad, confused or hurting. Please go back to that Bible verse and say from the bottom of your heart, please be convinced, the Lord is my Savior. I am confident and unafraid. The Lord is my courage and my strength. Why? Why I'm saying this? Because friends, <clears throat> true enough, God is indeed your strength and your courage. He is your lifeline. Please allow me to tell you a story. Back in 1998, that was 24 years ago, naalala ko pa, third year high school ako noon. Kasi pa nagjejeep ako at naglilinis ng bahay, mas maganda kasi pa naglilinis ng bahay, nakikinig sa music. Tapos na nahalata ako, yung kanta pa ulit-ulit na lang, top requested song daw, top requested song. Ang title ng kanta ay End of the Line. Ano bang end of the line? Para pong tali, lumalaban ka, pero naabot mo na yung dulo ng tali, gusto mo nang bumitaw. <laughs> Yun yung title na end of the line. Siguro maraming tao ngayon sa end, end of the line na. Anyway, uh, please allow me to share with you some parts of the song. Siguro marami nakarelate doon, kaya lagi nasa top chart. Kasi ang, 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 ang konteksto ng kanta, parang mag-asawa, nasa loob ng relationship, Tao siya kanya lang sa man ay struggling and challenging. But they want to save the relationship. Pero na-realize nang kumakanta, parang siya, siya lang yata ang lumalaban. Kaya sabi niya na sa kanta, it, ito ang chorus ng kanta, If you want me to go, then say it. Kung gusto mo na akong umalis sa buhay mo, sabihin mo na. Sabi pa doon sa kanta, If you want me to stay, then show it. Or else, we have to accept that we have come to the end of the line. Mga kapatid, baka usually ang sampayan ay ginagamit sa, ay ang, ang tali ginagamit sa sampayan, pang tali sa baka o mga, pero ginagamit din po ang tali sa tag of war. Naala ko dahil malaki ako ng elementary, lagi akong nilalagay sa likod para daw just in case bumitaw na yung una, huwag na akong bibitaw. Pero kahit, kahit anong gusto mong gawin na hato, mahata ka, lalumalaban ka, eh, binibitawan ko na. <laughs> binibitawan ko na. Kasi masakit sa kamay eh. Pero anyway, friends, I do not know your, what you're going through right now. Because I believe each of us is fighting our own battle. Like our seminarian today, nasa gitna sila ng exam, each of us has his or her own mga journey but if you allow me to ask you, where are you now in your journey? Are you still holding on on the line? Or barely hanging? Or baka some of us might have reached already the decision 
that you have already reached the end of your line. Pero please be reminded, if just in case you thought you reached your finish line, it may be, you may have only reached your limit, but actually it's not the end of the line for you. Because in faith, we know God is your lifeline. Please be convinced of that. Mayroon pang lakas na pwede kang paghugutan ng lakas, yung Panginoong Diyos. You have reached the end of your line because for the past years and months, you rely on your own strength and courage. But this time, when you think you are already in the reach of your, reaching the end of your line, God is calling you to throw yourself to Him, to abandon yourself to Him in total surrender. You call it total Reliance. Ang tawag sa Tagalog ay ipaubaya. Ipaubaya mo na ang lahat sa Panginoong Diyos. Thy will be done, O Lord. To close his homily, let me leave you a story of an old woman. Kasi kahit medyo she is already getting old, nagdadrive pa siya because she is self-sufficient. Yung, di ba, may mga matatanda na kaya ko ang buhay ko, naala ko yung nanay ng teacher sa Buhol, kasi I was assigned for one year. Yung nanay niya daw, very independent. Kahit 90 years old na gusto niya, siya lang ang solo sa bahay. Walang mga maid o magbabantay sa kanya kasi she does not need help. Sabi niya, Father, yung nanay ko nga sa loob ng ref, puno ng coke kasi mahilig siya sa coke, sa soft drinks, sa taba. Anyway, going back to this self-sufficient old woman, kaso yung pagdadrive niya, nabangga siya, but she's still alive, pero naipit siya sa loob kasi her car was wrecked. Naipit siya eh. Hindi siya makalabas kahit anong pag, pagpumiglas niya. Dumating na mga polis, yung fire department, kasi kakalasin yung mga bakal. Ang tawag doon ay the police was trying to disentangle her, remove her from her from her in- entanglement. Pero alam niyo matanda, since self-sufficient siya, sinisigawa niya yung mga fire department So rescuer, I don't need your help. I can save myself. Uh, I don't need your help. Pero, since she want to let go of herself by her own, syempre, mas masakit. She was cringing in pain. Kaya sabi sa kanya ng police officer, lapitan na siya, Ma'am, you need our help. <laughs> You cannot help yourself. Please trust us, friends. If you allow me to reword the word of the officer for you, it's like God saying to you, I am in charge of you. Do not panic. Trust me. Friends, many times we thought it's the end of the line. It's the end of the world for us. Especially when people got sick, when they lost their work when they lost their loved one, as if the world crumbled and you break into pieces. Well, sometimes it has to break into pieces so that you will see that there's the Lord still there with you, even they broke, even you become hopeless. But still, sana in the midst of those, those suffering, you will see at the, end, at the end of the line that still God is there with you because He's your lifeline. So that's all for now. God bless you, friends. Always keep, always remind yourself. Turn to the Lord for light, for strength, for guidance, and for courage. We place our faith in God the Father as we present before Him the needs and concerns of our lives. For every prayer, your response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may always show deep faith in God who guides world events, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That government leaders and workers may be honest in their work and that they may always be ready to give an account of their work, not only before the people, but before God. We pray. 
Lord, hear our prayer. That young people may be assiduous in their work and studies and keep on hoping for a better world. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dying may look to Christ with hope and penitent trust. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For our frontline healthcare workers and other essential workers, that God may cover them with his mantle of protection, sustain them, and give them strength as they perform their respective duties. May we have enough medical provisions, healthcare facilities, and other resources to use for everyone who needs cure. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may enjoy forever the fullness of God's saving power. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. In a special way, I leave up to the Lord the intentions, the special intention of John Cedric Oranga for healing and for the special intention of his family. All this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you love in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience, and so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim.
you are you are indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore this gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may, may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Onesto Ong Choco, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with blessed joseph her spouse with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor shores forever and ever. Amen. Friends, gathering all our prayers into one, let us pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share to one another the sign of peace. Peace to everyone. Peace, be with you. peace to all of you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Friends, this is our Lord Jesus Christ. Indeed, He is your Savior, our Savior. He is our, he is our courage and our strength. Behold Him, for He is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. And blessed are you who are called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. Horatio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand 
dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people task to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health, protect those who care for them, grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, help of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungso. Pray for us. Saints Arnold Jansen and Joseph Renadimitz. Pray for us. Please be seated for some announcement. Masses for our departed loved ones on October 31, November 1 and 2 are as follows. 6.30 a.m., 12.15 p.m., and 6 p.m. For Mass intentions, envelopes are available inside the shrine as well as through our online Mass intentions at www.bit.ly slash shrine Mass intentions. Thank you and may God bless you always and then always. Magsitayo tayo. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may our Almighty God bless you all. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.